what is up? What is happening? I should be working right now, but I'm not. Instead, I just wanted to make a video, a video for all of you. Our first real video of the new year, so I'm excited. So what is happening, everyone? Welcome back to the No Idea channel. I'm Aaron, and usually sitting next to me is my brother Adam, and we're just two brothers who absolutely love the outdoors. We have a passion for the outdoors, but more importantly, we love buying outdoor stuff, buying stuff behind our wives' back, doing reviews on them, going out, taking them into the field, and having fun with them. So, And today, we are going to be building an ice fishing bundle using the Garmin Echo Map plus 93 SV. And if you haven't yet, we'd love for you uh, to subscribe to our channel. And if you end up finding this video to be helpful, or if you, if you even laugh, if you laugh at how ridiculous I am and how awesome No Idea channel is, then we would love for you to give a thumbs up on this video. Uh, but more importantly, we would really love to hear from you. What is your go-to fish finder depth finder uh, unit when you are out on the hard water. What do you like to use? And comment below and let us know if you even like them, if they're awesome, whatever you're using. Let's jump right into it. First thing you need when you ice fish is you need poles, you need augers, um, but also one of the things that we learned that you kind of have to have, you don't necessarily have to have, but if you have these things that makes it look like you know what you're doing, is a fish finder. So we went out and we got some fish finders and the first fish finder that we bought was this Garmin Striker Plus right here. This Garmin Striker Plus uh, ice fishing bundle. This one is not the uh, ice fishing bundle. This is just a regular one that you uh, mount on a kayak or uh, on a boat. But my brother has the ice fishing one. And if you click here or, or here, wherever the link is, you can see the review on the Striker Plus for uh, ice fishing bundle. And you can check it out. It's a great episode. Uh, so we got these. These were awesome. These are perfect. They do exactly what we want and what we need for under $220. These things were awesome, super fun to use. Now, the other thing that then that we went out and bought is we bought the Vexlar Scout 800 underwater camera. Boom. And our children, our kids, love the underwater camera. They will fish all day, staring at that camera, watching their bait, watching the fish take the bait. They absolutely love it. And anything that gets our kids excited, pfft, we're going to do it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn an Echo Map plus 93SV into a bundle. And that is this one right here. Ready? So here it is. This is our, uh, our Garmin Echo Map plus 93SV. And this is the device that we use on our boats in the summertime. And the reason that we wanted to see how this works out on the ice as an ice fishing bundle is because we love the technology that is built into these Echo Maps. Everything that you need to make this into an ice fishing bundle is right here. So I'm gonna walk through all of this and we're gonna build it out. I have a link uh, to all of these things in the description below. All right, the very first thing that you are going to need to build an ice fishing bundle with this is you're going to need a transducer. And unless you've taken the transducer off of your boat uh, and tried to use that, I really encourage you to get just a regular Garmin ice fishing transducer. And for this rig right here, you have two options. You have the GT8 or the GT8. 10 transducer. Both of them are for ice fishing. Um, and really the only difference is, and we went with the GT8, is the cone, the angle of the cone. Uh, the GT8 is really specifically for 24 degrees to 16 uh, degrees, and the GT10, GT10 is 7 degrees to 16 degrees. The GT8, if you are going to fish 
Bodies of water that are no greater than 40 feet, 50 feet, the GT8 is what you want. It's perfect for you. But if you get into some deep stuff, anything over 50, 60 uh, feet deep, you're probably going to want to go with the GT10. So I went, uh, like I said, I went with the GT8 because my brother and I really, we never fish anything over 30, 40 feet. So you need a transducer. However, uh, the other thing that you need with your transducer is your transducer is a four pin and uh, the Garmin Echo Map is a 12 pin right here uh, for its transducer. So one of the things that you will need to buy is an adapter. And again, this is linked down below in the description. This adapter takes a four pin transducer sonar to a 12 pin that I can plug in to the back of my Garmin as well. Now, the second thing that you will need is you're going to need to power your Echo Map. And so right here, I have the power cable. And the power cable, again, uh, the Echo Maps are a four pin power cable. So you need to make sure that it's a Garmin four pin power cable. And uh, pretty self-explanatory, the red and the black are going to go to your battery. Uh, and this will go to the back of your Garmin as well. So you'll need to get one of these. So you got the power cord, and after the power cord, you're going to need a battery. And for the purposes of this video, I just grabbed a simple battery. This is a, a 12 volt. This is only a seven amp hour cheaper battery. You have the lithium ion batteries and really uh, the difference with the lithiums is, is the weight. It's not that heavy, uh, which is nice. Some prefer that. But then you can also get more amps. You can get a nine amp hour, which seems to be a very common one, but you'll need a battery as well. The other thing that you will need is a cradle. This little thing, this little doohickey. Um, now I could have simply taken this uh, off of my boat and used the one on my boat, but I decided it would be easier just to grab one and have a dedicated one for my ice fishing bundle. But this is the cradle. And what happens is your Garmin hooks into here and on the back here, like here's your power, your power goes into here, here's your uh, sonar, uh, goes right into here, um, and then this is going to hook up into here. So you'll need a cradle, a Garmin cradle, and you'll need to make sure it's for your 9 inch, or if you have a 7 inch or a 5 inch as well. And then finally, here it is. This is the extra large carry bag and base for the Garmin Echo Map. So here it is. Here's the bag. That's what all of this goes into so that you can carry it around. Now I got the extra large because the extra large is meant for nine to 10 inch screens. There's a medium and there's a small and a large uh, based on your screen size uh, as well. So there you go. Here it is. This is everything that you need to turn your Echo Map into an ice fishing bundle. So let's put this together right now. Go. I'll show you really quick because you don't want to have this on and your transducer hooked up for very long or else you're going to burn out your transducer if it is not um, in water. So a little bonus here, I'll, I'll show you how I'm going to set it up uh, to take it out and then I'm going to do a video this weekend on it. So what I'm going to do is um, I want to do combos. I want to customize mine. Okay, so I want to add. I want it split like this. Click empty. I want sonar. I want a flasher because I'm ice fishing. So there's the flasher and then I hit empty, sonar, and I want clear view right here. So there you go. This is what I'll have and I'll show you uh, this weekend uh, when I get out and I get and use it. Oh, all right, I think I gotta get to work. So there you go. 
We just took the Garmin Echo Map Plus 93 SV and we turned it into an ice fishing bundle. I'm gonna to put together a little video of me using it out on the ice and we'll post that right here as well. I do wanna give a shout out. Our channel, my brother and I don't do this for money. We don't do this uh, to get sponsored. We could care less. We do this because we love this and we love connecting with outdoor shops uh, who just are teaching us a thing or two. And we really wanna do a shout out uh, to Search and Recovery Engineering. Uh, they are a family owned company right here in Wisconsin. Uh, and they have everything. If you need it for outdoors, they have it. They are awesome. They carry quality quality outdoor equipment and electronics and recovery equipment and electronics as well. So I would encourage you to check them out at SREgear.com. They also have some of the best, most competitive prices as well. This is where I picked up most of my stuff to make this happen as well. Again, we have all the links down in the description. And if you haven't yet, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. And again, if you found anything helpful in this, uh, in this video, we'd love for you to give it a thumbs up. Okay, good talk, <laughs> see you out there.